earlier on I asked the Taoiseach about the Iceland <coughs> workers and he agreed with me that the workers should be paid what they're owed and he said they should go to the WRC to uh, achieve that. The problem is, as the Taoiseach knows, that is not a simple or a quick process. And, you know, the, the state treats wage theft very differently than they treat other forms of theft. So if I go into an Iceland store tomorrow and walk out with a frozen pizza that I haven't paid for, they can call the guards on me. I can be arrested, prosecuted by the guards. That option isn't open to the workers. They can't call the guards and say, we haven't got paid the money we're owed. We're owed tens of thousands of euros. I want you to go and arrest uh, the, the owner. Um, and that's a fundamental problem. Instead, they're forced to go down the route of the WRC, underpowered, under-resourced, only slightly more now labour inspectors in the country than there are uh, dog wardens. Um, it's completely unacceptable. So two questions. One, whether you would set up a special uh, unit to pursue this issue of wage theft to ensure that wages are no, workers are not ripped off in this way. And secondly, whether you agree that wage theft should be criminalised in the same way as other theft is. Um, just in relation to, 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 to wage, wage theft, uh, my understanding is that it is a criminal offence under, non, non, under, under non-payment of wages, but I will have to check, check into that again, and perhaps it's a case that we should strengthen the law uh, because uh, um, not paying somebody... 200 euros that they that, that they're entitled to is the same as taking 200 euros off somebody in my view uh, and the penalty should be similar um, just in relation to trans health care uh, met with Minister Donnelly and Minister Nocton there in Pride Week last week met with Tenny and all the groups that represent or most of the groups that represent the LGBT community and we did agree that there would be a further engagement uh, on the issue of, of trans health care um, which isn't up to scratch in Ireland, uh, doesn't compare favourably with most of the European countries, uh, but there have been real difficulties recruiting staff in, in those areas, um, and a lot of the medicine uh, in those areas is still being developed. <laughs>